All right, brace yourself for my closet. Oh my, girl, we on the wrong show. This is hoarder. If we found you somebody, what if he's explored the same sex? Tell me how you feel about that. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay with that because I've explored same sex before. Mm -hmm. Um, and it doesn't deter me from wanting to be married to a man. Mm -hmm. So if he's exploring, I think that's I think that's kind of healthy because sometimes you really don't know what you like until you try it. Okay, all right, great. Let's go out in the living room. Okay, come on out. <laughs> First of all, this this is really cozy. Thanks. This is very cool. Tell me where you are as far as your um, pride of culture goes. There are very little things I love more than being black. There are very little. I love being black and it's important for me to marry someone who understands my identity and my culture because I want them to feel that type of pride in their culture and their in their skin. Absolutely. Um, and so I want to make sure that that happens in my house for sure. Is there a world where that could happen with someone who is not black? I would be open to that because I have a um, reverence for other cultures. I feel like if another person of another culture came in and also had that, that curiosity, mm, mm, mm. I could be open to that because then we could explore different things together yeah. and learn about each other. Yeah, and, and I don't want you to feel as though I'm trying to convince you or push you in any kind of direction. I'm, I simply want you to be open to every possibility of love. And yeah, I would be comfortable with that. I would be comfortable and just enough uncomfort that's curious. Yeah. Because that's really what that adventurous side of me is. Yeah. It's like, it's uncomfortable, but I'm intrigued. Uh, yeah. If we found this guy for you, tell me what qualities would you want him to have? We don't have to have a similar sense of humor, but if we're making each other laugh, that's big for me because laughter is just... I, I seek it. <laughs> if we can laugh off through the good times and we can laugh off some of the bad times too, it just make this process smoother. Not just the eight week process, like right. our marriage. Someone who is really attentive to me. I feel like in the past I've had great partners, but they didn't have the amount of care for me that I needed. And I really need someone who is, for lack of a better word, like all about me. Like, that's my girl, that's my wife. And I need to know that he has my back. Like, if I turn around, he's right there. I also want him to be, this is like a little bit more vain, but style. You gotta be well dressed. We gotta okay. walk into a room and turn heads. Okay. I really like that feeling because it makes me more attractive to him. Like, okay. look at everybody looking at you. Oh, they're looking at us. You are, <laughs> you are such, a, such a joy to talk to. Thank you. And I sincerely believe that you would make a very, very good wife. Thank you. like showroom ready. Okay. Oh my gosh. I know how somebody could torture you. You just yes. throw everything uh, up, yes. right? A hundred percent. And yeah. you would go like nuts, right? I would okay. have to fix it pretty pretty quickly. We gotta work on this before you get married. Okay, I plan to. See, it's a system, but it's not, it don't make sense. No. That's why I need an organized man so he could be like, ah, ah, ah. So you've been celibate the whole time you've been here. Yeah. Sometimes you have urges. What do you do about those urges? Um, I don't masturbate or any of that. Why not? I just think it's a sin, honestly. You know, it is what it is for you. But yeah, and I mean, it's not that big of a deal. What's all the setup here? What's, what's... Um, so I used to I used to be a mountaineer. Wow. This one will kill you, and this one won't. So it's good to know the difference. If I'm climbing a mountain, Cameron, you're my man. Good. I'll good. definitely call good. you. No condoms? <laughs> uh, no, not really. Not really? Uh, that's just not something that I do very often. So. Have sex? Well, I have one night stands. They're not gonna find anything sexual in here. No. Darn. Um, yeah, I noticed your splatter paint, red bottoms. You know. Look at you. I like them, and um, I actually splatter painted a, a suit for prom. Um, do you have it? Yeah. Can you go yeah. grab it sure. and just come out in it? I want to. I want to see. What like. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right. Yeah. Yes. So it's a little Nasty. old, but. You know, it's... I like it, yeah, we're like matching. Yeah. Well, that's super cool. Yeah. 
So you've been super chill and like kind of quiet here. Do you need or want your partner to have some of like the same quality as you do in that way? Or do you want someone who's gonna like help bring that excitement out of you? I mean, is it weird to ask for both? Like I think no. there's, I think everything in moderation, right? Like I want someone who's like a little more structured and type A and someone who like can kind of like keep me on task and someone yeah. like that will also like do those things, like I can do those things for them. But like, mm -hmm. you know, there's times when you need to like be going, going, going. And there's mm -hmm. times when you just need to like chill. And like, I think recognizing that and especially like in social situations, yeah. is like important and being able to like be like a social butterfly and be able to like hang out and meet new people and just, you know, mm -hmm. talk to my friends and being ha having that energy would be yeah. great. What if you've got someone who like is, yes, very structured, very um, professional, ambitious, yeah. organized, will plan things, but also will like talk, 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 talk and is like full of energy. Love that. Perfect. Really? That's exactly what I want. Oh, say less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is where all the, um, all the, magic, the magic happens. It's supposed to happen. Do you entertain? Uh, no. You know, so you don't bring women here or nothing? No, no. Really? Why you laugh? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, we got, we got seven cats. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Roommates. A roommate. Yeah, that just wouldn't yeah. be cool. I've got, you know, because we're going into your bedroom, I brought with me some gloves just in case <laughs> I need them. <laughs> OK. I don't use this. It was given to me I as a joke. I know what it is. I actually yeah. would use it and I would play with my cat and she loves it. So that's great. You use toys. I think it's wonderful. There's no nightstand. And I'll be honest. That's I, why I was looking for the goodies. I think what you were looking for was that. It was this. OK. So we've got. And usually it stays up there. So you keep it underneath the pillow for I safekeeping. Do. Storage. Nothing. I wish I had There's some nothing exciting food. here. There's no skeletons. No skeletons in Sorry. your closet? No. When was your last relationship? Uh, about a year ago. I just uh, wanted a bit of a break. And okay. um, I just haven't been pursuing uh, committed relationships. Significant committed relationships. Yes. Okay, but so you, you're not, you know, choir boy or nothing. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. okay. Does the accent get you over? It did, gets me in the door. It gets you in the door, right. <laughs> it's a resume. It's bingo. Okay, great. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's go further. Let's sit and talk. How do you feel about this whole process? I don't think I've ever been more ready. Really? Yes. Emotionally, I've been ready for for a good few years. I mean, I don't know, let's say maybe three or four years. I think I know who I am in a mm. relationship. And the the kind of man that I think I've become is um, very reliable, um, trustworthy, almost, almost to a fault. And um, I would say I like to be an important part uh -huh. of my, my partner's life without being overburdensome or clingy or anything like that. In terms of attraction, what can we do that would make you incredibly happy? I do like slender women. Slender women. Healthy. Okay. I enjoy going out and mm -hmm. mountain biking and, and running. Like, you know, let's go out. Let's go enjoy the mountains, okay. right? Um, that's the kind of fitness that I, I'm okay. interested in. All right, great. I think we're making some headway here. Great. Record player. Yes. Okay, diffuser. This is sexy, Michael. I'm not trying to create a okay. vibe in here. So tell me, why are you ready to not be single anymore? As much as I enjoy being single, I've always viewed it as like this is my process to try to find and be in a relationship. Okay. And tell me, what are you looking for in your ideal wife? Like if you close your eyes, look down the aisle, what do you see? I mean, I do tend to gravitate to a little bit of like darker features, so like okay. darker hair, darker eyes, mm -hmm. a nice complexion. Those are probably the immediate things that I would hope to see. Looks aside, mm -hmm. what are you looking for on the inside of your wife? I think one of the things or a couple of the things that really resonate with me is like a strong sense of self. Mm. So them having a high level of confidence in who they are, yeah. how they see the world. As long as they have that, mm -hmm. you know, that sense of confidence, that really resonates with me a level of drive and ambition and you know for me if if i was with a woman that really wanted children mm -hmm. i would definitely be open to it but i would hope that we were at a place that we feel very fulfilled and enriched mm -hmm. in our relationship mm -hmm. and that we're at a place that we see that enrichment now coming through like raising a child together okay. yeah those are the things that i at the core like right off the bat i would i would hope to have in a woman okay any deal breakers for you if i was with a woman 
that really just wanted to stay within a particular bubble and kind of cultivate a lifestyle in that set ecosystem, mm. that would be very tough for me. You know, I like to think I have a big curiosity for life that informs my travel and trying new things. Mm -hmm. So if that's just something that doesn't interest them, I would find that challenging. <laughs> Fair enough.